Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we're taking a look at the brand new Dell XPS 15 2-in-1. This is the latest from Dell. It's got a stunning display, a brand new processor, and it's just some kick-ass performance. Now, Dell says this is one of the smallest and thinnest 15.6-inch uh, laptops with a... Um, a Z height of about 16 millimeters is a really thin device altogether. Uh, like I said, you've got that stunning display here. Uh, it's 100% Adobe RGB in terms of color. It's a HDR display. Uh, you also have a display that comes at a max resolution of 3200 by 1800. They say 4K, but it's not quite 4K yet, but still a really nice and vibrant looking display. Now this also has Dell Cinema, which you would expect, which Dell is pushing now. And Dell Cinema is all about the combination of, of course, cinema color with uh, HDR. It's got, of course, 10 bit color, white color gambit, which is great 2020. You've also got cinema sound that brings in rich, well, wave max audio, some really nice audio to, the, to that, and cinema streaming. So basically, optimizing the streaming so you can watch your content quite well. Now, in terms of performance of what you get here, this device packs in the brand new Intel 8th generation processor with a Radeon RX a Vega M. The new Vega M, so this packs in a lot of performance, meaning you're getting a two-in-one here that uh, is light, should give you some really good battery life, and also can game and do some stuff with it. Uh, they've also increased and changed the cooling and heating on there to make it a, a more susceptible to last longer and also better functionality all the way through. Uh, in terms of other specs, you've got that nice keyboard layout, a centralized touchpad. This also comes with a pen, uh, stylus pen, so you can actually use that there. Um, other things, it goes up to 16 gigs, uh, sorry, 16 uh, gigabytes of RAM on some levels, and you can get up to 32 gigabytes uh, as well. Uh, this, is, as I mentioned, the 8th gen processor in there, up to a terabyte of storage, uh, and uh, you've got a 75 uh, watt hour battery. Now, they didn't give me details on exact uh, battery life. You should expect close to about 10 hours of battery life on this. Now, in terms of ports, you're looking at uh, uh, two Thunderbolt ports, Thunderbolt 3 ports, two USB Type-C 3.1 ports in there, a micro SD card reader, headphone jack as well on this thing. Um, and I have to say though, it is a solid looking device from Dell. Can't wait to try it out, especially with that new processor hardware, a combination of Intel and AMD. Can you believe that? Uh, it would be interesting to see how that performs in terms of uh, things like editing video, gaming on the go, and also just general productivity all the way through. I think this is a, a really, a very really interesting move by Dell, uh, especially just with the whole package, getting the standard Infinity Edge display, great performance, two-in-one uh, variant, and also some really solid battery life. So we'll see how it checks out. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, let us know. Um, otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, check out more of our content at CES, and always enjoy your entertainment.